How wonderful. We're all making new friends. Fadeless one, you are certainly finding yourself in some interesting situations. It's almost as if you're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Too bad you can't trust old Torben. The old fool knows better than to lie to our Chaos Lord. Can't say the same for his daughter. He's been in our pocket since day one, fed us information, kept us informed. My guess? Well, he thought that helping the preordained would ensure his safety, and the safety of his kid. What do you think? We do not. But do not think for a moment that we will let you have it. Cease your reckless quest, and we may let you live. Unlikely, but possible. Leave Synarch's eye to the chaos, and go back to where you came from. I will let you walk away unharmed. You have my word. Oh, I beg to disagree. We cannot allow such a powerful artifact to fall into your hands. Ownership can be a tricky thing. Changes in the blink of an eye, in the release of an arrow, in a last breath. I <laughs> over to those savages. How could anyone do that? To keep me safe, maybe. But at what price? Did he even realize they would kill me? That he'd sealed my fate with his betrayal? Ah. 
I guess none of us are spared such a reckoning. How can I return to Crownhold like this? To Gail Crossing? The Master dead. My father, an informant, and a liar. Where is the future for me here? I must think about my next moves. My whole life has been turned upside down. It's all too much to comprehend. Dad, the preordained. Master MacLeod, you have been kind to me, stranger, and more patient than I deserve. But it's time that we parted ways. The next chapter of my life awaits, and I have a lot to think about. <laughs> it's terrifying, really. You must get Sinox Eye someplace safe. Not a bad idea. Crownhold will need a new sage crafter. Though I'm a long way from becoming a master. We all start somewhere, I suppose. I can keep up the old man's legacy. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Maybe our paths will cross again.